a word just came to me as we repent today. A word came to me from the Creator, and that word is black man must have land. Black man must own land. Plenty word that though. You say huh? a word. <laughs> no, we were just having a conversation off air about wealth creation, and I'm just reminding my viewers, land is important. Get that land. Go geo land online. Get your title, own land, farm the land. Let's go into this next conversation, my people, my people, my people. The castor oil industry is set to bloom in Jamaica. Um, if they receive the 500 million development plan or package, I should say, from the government and land space to improve production of the bean, the castor oil, the castor bean, the, the, the thing, we'll tell you all about that. Here to talk to us more about this is Courtney Houghton, who is the president of the Castor Industry Association of Jamaica. Good morning. Morning, sir. How are you, Mr. Houghton? You're good? I'm very good. So tell me, but let's get straight into this thing I'm telling the people. What is this $500 million production? Um, let's go to the genesis of it. Mm -hmm. um, this association was formed from 2016. We registered as a limited liability company in 2017. We met with the Minister of Agriculture, Honorable Audley Shaw, mm -hmm. in 2018. And when we briefed him on the potential and possibilities of this industry, he was so impressed that he committed to us um, a property in Mitcheltown in Clarendon mm -hmm. of 1,600 acres. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of acres. That's a lot of acres, but mm -hmm. that would not even scratch the surface mm -hmm. of what is needed to actually um, develop the potential. We, a study was done, which was commissioned by Jam Pro, and at this point in time, I need to really big up Jam Pro and to commend Jam Pro, particularly Berletta Forrester and her team, um, Miss Kennedy and Mrs. Miss Nairn, mm -hmm. who they are, without them, I don't think we, I would be here today, mm -hmm. right? And Mrs. Edwards, who was the head of Jam Pro, she always had time for us, right? And, and, and why I'm here today is a result of what many other people who have supported us and taken us along because castor oil is a poor man thing. What is it, is it used for? I know, I know well, long time say constipation, is it used for that? It is used and for what that. else? But let me tell you a little more. Um, there are two types of castor oil. There is a commercial grade castor oil, right, which is globally manufactured mainly from India and China, Brazil and Ethiopia. And then there's Jamaica black castor oil. Now Jamaica black castor oil is to the castor oil industry what Blue Mountain coffee is to the coffee industry. Mm -hmm. So I'll just give you an idea by just looking at the price point. For the commercial grade castor oil in the global market space, it is sold for $4.54 a gallon. For my Jamaica black castor oil, similar gallon, the minimum price you can get for it is 80 US dollars. And it goes all the way up wow. to 120 US dollars. For a we, bottle of this size? A gallon. Oh, for you a still gallon. Don't okay, tell okay. me what's used for though. The use now, the commercial grade castor oil as over 3,000, using over 3,000 different commercially viable products. Like? Well, let's just start with the aviation industry. It is a prime ingredient in aviation fuel. Castor oil. Castor oil. Like Jamaican castor oil can no, be used for that? Any castor oil. Wow. Yeah, what else? And then for brake fluid, it is the main ingredient in brake fluid. Seriously? Seriously. Now, let us look at engine oil. If you notice the, the racing cars, they always have castrol on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, do I need to say anything more? Castrol, castor. Oh. It is castor oil. So it, this castor oil is good for constipation, make plane fly. Yes. In layman's terms. In layman's terms. But that's true. What is true? It's true. And yep. not only that, you mentioned, yes, constipation, aviation, make things work, break fluid, but... I've been using this for years mm -hmm. in my hair, mm -hmm. on my skin. And people are producing it from little little parishes, little nooks and crannies across rural Jamaica, mm -hmm. and they put it in the rum bottles. Have you noticed? Precisely, precisely. And we've been using this, but let's go into the development now. What can this do for our country? Because you have said something about an industry development and drive, where we talk about we're broke and we're hungry. What can we do with castor oil? 
globally for export and local consumption. Sir, you are the industry expert. Tell us what we need to do to right. grow our economy, GDP, and everything else. All right, let me tell you then. Let's go back. Based on our discussions with um, Minister Shaw, mm -hmm. he has been a tower of strength for us. He put us on to uh, Ms. Petronia Kali, mm -hmm. a specialist in the Ministry of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. And we have developed a business plan, a broader capital business plan. And, um, My name's on the plan? Your name is on the plan. Okay, good. In the, in, in, in the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. You know, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm getting, can I open this you sure while you can. talk? Uh, well, uh, actually, that one's yours. Oh, thank you. But you don't know what we're That one's actually. yours. And um, I never, um, this one is yours. I'll never, you use it in your hair, you know. Anywhere there's any ball spot coming up, you put it there. Come, give me the top part. I, I actually... That's it, then. Whoa. Put your <laughs> Never. head down. Let me I want you to try it. Because I bet you it grow back by next Wednesday. We, we, um, there was this gentleman who, who, who was suffering from baldness. Yes. And we gave him a bottle of the castor oil and mm. his hair grew back. Mm. It is. There you go. I just... So never... Every other way, leave my <laughs> Never, I brought something for you, man. A long-term effect. But yeah. back to um, the development yes. aspect of yes. this. Of mm -hmm. this. Because... It has the potential yeah. to transform the rural Jamaica into a gold mine. That's why I named my product Black Gold, you know, because mm -hmm. it is gold. Mm -hmm. How much money we can earn from exports? From export. All right, let me give you an idea. Two studies were done. One in 2016 by Damian Fagan, commissioned by Jampro. He did a global study, and he put a value on the black castor oil market, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jamaica black castor oil, mm -hmm. of 100 million US dollars. Per? Per annum. Every year? Yeah, with, with, with potential growth of 5% per annum, if it is properly marketed. So we right. can earn 100 million US of this product? Easily. Every year? No, recently again, um, IDB commissioned a study after deliberations with the JCIA, Jamaica castor industry, mm -hmm. Um, Mr. Frankie Whitwell from IDB, That's he did a inter study. International Development Bank? Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Inter-American Development Inter Bank. Inter-American. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, he did a study <clears throat> in 2019, last year, mm -hmm. focusing on the U.S. market alone. Mm -hmm. He came out with a value in the U.S. market for Jamaica black castor oil, 28 million U.S. dollars. All right. So do, let's... Sorry. Do we export to the U.S. now? I want to tell you something now. I want you to listen to this. Listen now. Listen good. <laughs> In that year, what is the value based on reports from customs of Jamaica black castor oil? How much did we export? I mean, take, I a guess, take a guess. Take I, a guess. I, I would just say not enough. I can't tell you the quantity. We do under half a million US dollars. Okay. So that so is it a, means that. Yeah. But we import castor oil. I've seen. Yes, we do. I we do. Seen we do import. We are net importers of castor oil. But that's a problem, right? If we can produce it, which is something I'm just uh, yes, asking, that if is we can produce it, mm. why are we allowed to even import it? Because we don't have a structured industry. And that well, is what Jamaica Castor Industry is all about. But you're the president now. That's so right. what do we need to do? What we need to do is make lands available. We need to ensure that there are standards, mm -hmm. right? And there are um, international standards for the commercial grade castor oil. Mm -hmm. But there's no international standard for Jamaica black castor oil, and that is where we are losing out. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing now is to create the foundation yeah. by getting on board people like Bureau of Standards, SRC, mm -hmm. um, Mona Institute of Applied Sciences with Dr. Reed. Mm -hmm. We just had a grant from IDB for 100000 to do a study so that we can establish 100, the standard. 100000 US. 100,000 US. Right. Okay, good. We have to go. Um, question. It go on three. It goes on trees. There's see, a picture. There's that's a what picture. Looks like? That's it right there. That's right. But I see that tree all about That's what I'm saying. It's all over Jamaica. It no. grows on marginal lands. It grows on the most marginal lands. There it is again. Okay. That's so, the bean. So, so that is the bean. Uh, right. Mr. Holden, just the, 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 manu the marketing, manufacturing mm -hmm. and marketing mm -hmm. side of it, yeah? mm -hmm. the, the production, mm -hmm. um, how, how, more than land, what kind of capital has to be injected into right. the production and let us, marketing of the Let product? us focus on Quickly the 1,600 so, no, acre. On the 1,600 acre, we are looking at half a billion dollars. Half a billion. To set up the farms mm -hmm. and, to, and to set up the manufacturing thing. From that, we can generate 
$3.3 billion okay. accumulated over the three-year period. We have to go. Hope everything works out. Courtney Houghton, president of the Jamaica Castor Industry Association. Mm. Black gold. Mm -hmm. Check out his product. After the break, my people, we show you how to love each other. I love you. <laughs>